I strongly believe that missionaries make better products. They care more. For a missionary, it's not just about the business. There has to be a business, and the business has to make sense. But that's not why you do it. You do it because you have something meaningful that motivates you. We've done price elasticity studies, and the answer is always that we should raise prices. We don't do that because we believe, and we have to take this as an article of faith, that by keeping our prices very, very low, we earn trust with customers over time, and that that actually does maximize free cash flow over the long... I do get asked, quite frequently, what's going to change in the next 10 years? I rarely get asked, and it's probably more important, and I encourage you to think about this, is the question, what's not going to change? The answer to that question can allow you to organize your activities. You can work on those things with the con. We understand that and believe in failing early and iterating until we get it right. When this process works, it means our failures are relatively small in size. Most experiments can start small. And when we hit on something that is really working for customers, we double down on it with hopes to turn it into an even bigger success. As a company grows, everything needs to scale, including the size of your failed experiments. If the size of your failures isn't growing, you're not going to be inventing at a size that can actually move the needle. Amazon will be experimenting at the right scale for a company of our size if we occasionally have multi-billion dollar. If I have three good decisions a day, that's enough. They should just be as high quality as I can make them.